Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and the Administrator of Graphical Design. I'm going to start you off with a, a new video in Toonly and I'm going to call it Background Moving. And I'm going to create a moving background for you. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find one of these backgrounds in Toonley and I want a, like a towny type background if I can find one or a city or something a good city background wait a minute I'm looking for one with a without any there that's the one that's the one without any clouds on right um, I have done a foreground picture of this of some of the parts because I need to do that for this one and what I'm gonna do is now add some clouds and they're called blue clouds the ones I've done right and there's four of them two of them are the same of each but I only need one of the two there so and they're quite big on there so I need to reduce them a lot because they was made for Tonely and Doodly by me. So they're the right size for Doodly, but not necessarily the right size for Tonely. But you can reduce them in size, so that's not a problem. That's the one cloud there. Just take it down a little bit more and grab the other one. The same with that one. Right, and just bring it right down. It takes a bit of time just to reduce some of it really, but no mind. There's only something which you can do per, per job you're doing. Right, so, right now what we're going to do now is we're going to move the city all the way along as far as we can get it to somewhere around 60, I think. I'll give you a good length of um, background video. That's what we're doing, the a moving background. So let's keep going. There's 60. Right. Now I want to take off the entrance off there and I want it to stick to the end so it won't move that helpfully. And what we're going to do is we're going to get these first and we're going to change the in effects and out effects to instant on these before we do anything else so that we're okay with it and once we've done that we can put them to the way we want them I think I'm going to do the bottom one and now the top one I'm going to do in three seconds and take it across to about 13 this gives it 10 seconds to go across the screen and this one's going to be on 8 or maybe actually 6 to 6, six to 16 I'll do that with that one yep so then we've got the same time length to go across right now we're going to click on the second one and I need to move the location of the beginning to off screen and then I need to click the end of the end of the, where it finishes and take it all the way out to the other side like that right so that one should come up like that and I'm going to go over here and click on the first one blue, blue cloud one and I want to take that off screen and then I want to click on the end bit there, that little part there, and I'm going to take that to the end of the screen as well. Right, so now these should fly across the sky at around the same speed. Yeah? Okay, so that's fine. Now what we can do, now we've sorted them out, is we can click that one and edit copy and paste that twice 
one, two. Obviously, where the, that pin is, is that's where they've come on, right? Now I'm going to get blue cloud one and do the same with that. Copy and then paste that twice. Two. Right, so we've got both of them. So we can do them somewhere else as well. Right. Now they should be exactly the same, so they should all go on and off like that, yeah, at the moment. So when we move them, they'll go wherever it's needed, right? So we're just going to give it a space of a gap or something about a few seconds. So we go about 24, blue cloud 1, and blue cloud 2, we'll have that one. Uh, going a bit after this one so we say about 28 we do that one right then we're going to move these ones further over and going further further along a bit more right so give them a bit of space as well okay and what I want to do is I'm going to put number one up to 57. I'm not going to go any further than that because the transitions might be on the end or the beginning of it. As you can see, the beginning of left three seconds, the end of left three seconds as well. Just in case there are any transitions are going to be put onto the actual clip. Right? So other than that, everywhere else I'm going to put stuff in and as you can see i've done that one pretty good uh, and what we'll do is just preview that just to show you what ha what's actually happening okay right and it's just going to be clouds at the moment i haven't added anything else yet so we've got the clouds going across nice and gently right okay that's pretty reasonable not too fast but fast enough then there's a space you could have something else happening and doing like birds flying or aeroplanes or something then another cloud coming and then another cloud coming shortly after yeah and then the next cloud should be coming in a sec yeah, there you go that one's coming first and the other one's coming after in a minute there you go so that's reasonably um, a reasonable speed for about all of them. So that's okay. So you want to add other things like say people walking across, cars going across, uh, aeroplanes or something like that. So how to do that? Well, it's, it's just the same really. You just need to wipe this, take this off first, and then go on to let's go for aeroplanes next. Right, so we have a look at uh, I don't spell it right. Right, so we can have got the clouds there, right, so we're gonna get an aeroplane going across somewhere. Let's take it about seven seconds. Bring this aeroplane in. That's quite big, so I need to knock that back a bit so it's smaller. Like that, right? And we can have it take, taking off from up here somewhere, right? And then actually, we can move that over. I think we can move that over to about there now, there somewhere, right? So we do that about 11 seconds. Now oh, that, that coming on, because then it, it can go through those. Could have it one in front of one and behind the other, maybe. Right, so what I need to do is just go down, 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 down. So it's in between those two. Right, so it'll be in between those two, and that's going to be going pretty quick because it's an aeroplane, obviously. So what I need to do is get the aeroplane beginning. Where's the beginning? It's going to be over here. 
and I need, wait a minute, before I start it, I need to twist it a little bit that way, up. Right, so it's going up that way. Right, and then that's where it's beginning, and the end. Where's the end? Ah, oh, it's over there. It's going to be up here somewhere, that way. Right, so we're going to do at the moment you can see spinning round don't worry about that I'll show you what to do with that right so we get on there just click on this change that to anti-clockwise or counterclockwise and as you see in a minute I'll be working all right as you can see it's in front of that cloud I'm beyond that cloud sorry I wanted it to go higher actually so I might have to change where the begin beginning position is so I'm going to go down this way a bit Oh, uh, and just do this right so there that needs to be higher right so I want that to go up there and pass that cloud as well that's what I'm gonna do is do this oh I'm going to it there's the beginning shot there there right now I want to take it to there and that's gonna go up this way and there right so let's do that it's still gonna miss that cloud isn't it so I need to change that a little bit more so I'll just do that one back up a bit more like that try that see it's gone on there and it's in front of that cloud should be yep you can just about see it in front of that cloud there I might actually make that bigger actually the the airplane at the beginning so there it's going to be much bigger like that and then as it goes down there it should be shrinking slowly and it when it gets to there as it goes to there I'm going to go back over there and shrink it more right so as you can see it's going to go bigger I think it's there then, so there you go yeah you can see just in front of the cloud there and as you can see it's going away so it's going smaller yeah right so that's that one right so we've done that we want some cars moving about as well on the bottom um, so I'm going to sort that out in a minute but I want to do another plane elsewhere and another part on there so let's just go up where's the next area over there I'll just do another one here so I'm going to click on about there right and I'm going to put this airplane here and that one's coming into land or will be I just need to make it much smaller than that right and then what I'm going to do is do it that way because it's slowing down and then the starting position is going to be there and the ending position is going to be down this way and slightly that way and down there right let's just check that's clockwise so that should be all right we'll see anyway in a minute let's just watch yeah so it goes down that way i need to make it change it from bounce oops didn't intend to do that let's just screw it up then Right, so I'm just going to do that and then get to this end bit and that should be right over here right now I'm going to do that click on the default change that to instant instant okay that should be all right and I need to check I've done the same with the airplane actually because I, I don't think I have right let's go back to the other airplane just check that 
Where is it? Aeroplane there. Click on there somewhere. Yeah, I needed to change that to instant as well. Okay, that's fine. Right, so I've done that. We can have... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a man walking at the front first. Before we do anything else. Yeah? Um, so let's get a man walking. This man's walking here. He's going to walk across that way. If I flip him anyway, he will. So... Let's just do walking, right, I'm going to make him smaller than that, and he don't need to bounce in, just have an instant, um, happy, so he's smiling as he's going along, I don't think you're going to see it anyway, it's going to be too small, eh? maybe, but never mind, but uh, what I'm going to do is, i walking from about 6, and walking to about 26 or 18 or whatever maybe a bit longer than it's got to take him longer than the clouds i think about 26 what was it eight or six to 20 somewhere like yeah and he can walk slowly along six to 20 right so i'll put him off there and then across this side like that and then we'll just preview how that looks so far right, let's just check that there's a cloud going up above there's the man walking across we should get an airplane going whoa, zooming across the sky that's good and yeah, I like that that was pretty cool pretty cool now Obviously, we've got nothing happening for now, so we need cars coming by uh, just after that. And we've got the clouds there, and there should be another airplane coming in a minute from that side, from the left-hand side, in a minute. There you go. Oh, I forgot to take the bounce off that one. So that's got to be done. Right. And then they've got the other clouds there. So that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, let's just... Uh, do this first, right? So let's get that other aeroplane, which is over here. Click on there, click on it, and then do change the bounce. Still on default. You want to watch that, right? Um, okay, so that was that. There's the man walking. After the man's walking, I want some. I want. Some, uh, something come in there like a car or something we'll just get a car on right there's a few cars I just want a, a, a decent car that decent car there we'll put that one on coming from the left right now the thing with this is um, this car will be in front of those traffic lights yeah but I've got a way of sorting that out, so I'm going to do that in a minute. But at the moment, we just don't worry about it for a second. Just swinging it round like that. I've just flipped it so it's going the right way for what I want. And it's only just going to be driving for a little bit. So that's from there to there. So where has he gone? Where's the car gone? Oh. Let's just... Uh, Reduce that a minute, see if we can find the car. Why's it gone down there? That was weird. Put the car up there and put that back to 100. Right, so there, right. Now, I want to do first of all, click it on beginning position and off the screen, then click to end position and take it all the way across to there as you can see it's in front of these plants and the uh, traffic 
Oh, it's at the moment. But, I mean, I can do something about that. Don't worry. Um, so that's that one. And I just need to click on change the default to instant. Instant. Didn't do it then. You notice, look. Right, changing that to instant. Okay, let's bring it back on here. Click on that. Default. Thank you. It's probably because it was off the screen. I assume. I don't know why it was doing that, but it shouldn't have been doing that. Right, so that should be alright. So that's coming across like that. Then we got. We want something else coming about here somewhere. Yeah, just around here. We'll have an ambulance coming at about 44. Get the ambulance. Yeah, the ambulance. Not the ambulance. That's an ambulance, isn't it? I think so. No, it's a camper van. Don't want a camper van. Remove that. There's the ambulance. I want the ambulance. Ambulance there, do that one. Right, so I want the ambulance going across. Like that. And then we can uh, do that one as well. So, the ambulance, I'm going to start it off there and take it across there. Right, so. I feel right it's going at speed anyway. I do anyway, I'd rather most of the time. Right now, I need to add a foreground of the traffic lights on these, which I have actually done one. So I'm going to go into objects again and look for the OCK. And there it is. And you can see it there. It's not exactly 100%, but it's OK. It'll do for what I need. Just need to change the size of it down a bit because it took me a bit of work to do this but I've done it just to make it look a bit better I need to get it the right size so that's the trouble it's hard to do this bit the bit that's the, the tricky bit I need to bring it in a bit more slightly off now it's slightly too big too small now There we go, that's it. There. That's about right. Yeah? If you do that, that should cover it. That should be okay. I'm hoping. Right, so now I've got that on. I need to take this all the way to the back end and bring it all the way to the front as well. So I'm going to do stretch it all the way to there. Oh, I've got to take off the bounce off that as well. Instant. Instant. And take it all the way to the front, this one. I might have to do the same with the ambulance as well in a minute and anything else I've just put on. Make sure I've done it with everything. Ambulance. Click on the ambulance a sec while I'm here off the default, take it to instant. Okay, we've done that. Now let's move this background further. Well, it's an overlay really, isn't it? Just to cover this. And I need to take that man that was walking um, behind this. I'm going to be behind it, not in well, he's got to be in front of it, sorry. So he's got to be moved to the foreground. Just to make sure he isn't covered. So I need to move him from where he is at the moment. Move him over this way a sec. As you can see, he's covered by the foreground. So I need to move him forward. Okay, let's just move him. Oh, I'm on that, that's why. With that background, background. Oh no. Back 
background. I'm going to go across this way and move that car. Let's go go background behind there. So yeah, so that needs to go back. There we go. Yeah, and go a bit further over to the where the ambulance is. Take that down beyond below that. Okay, hang on. Okay, right. Uh, I've put the ambulance down now, so that's uh, done. And um, we'll have a look at it then. It should be okay now. So everything's done. Let's just try previewing everything. Always re preview everything just to make sure oh look that one's a bit out on that side that ain't right there so i need to just change that slightly because that's out look put that out there but everything else is pretty cool and when you see the um cars going behind the lights and that it looks pretty cool that does right so i just need to straighten that out there that's not right okay Right, so let's just do that. Pull that across slightly. It just needs a slight adjustment there. Yeah, that should be okay, I think. Okay, that's should be done. Let's just try it one more time. Right, so you got the clouds. The man walking across. The aeroplane flying up bed very fast a car should be coming in a second yeah the car's coming across zooming across the road there another another pair of clouds coming and another aeroplane coming down and the ammonia should be coming across the other side any minute. Oh, it's just stopped. I wonder why that's done that. I must do oh yeah, I clicked on it down, oh that's why. I've got to redo that now, unfortunately. So I'll get back onto the ambulance, because I'll i moved it down I. When you do when you move it, you have to watch it oh god. Just done the wrong thing, down I. There we go. Right, so ambulance, I need to click on the ambulance. Move the ambulance right back to there. That's its beginning position, right? And then the end position should be. Let's just go. It's going to do that, and then just take that. Let's click on the ambulance again. Sorry, just do that. Make sure you click on it and that, and take it all the way across there. That should be the end position. Right, so hopefully that should be all right now. I've done that. Yeah. As you can see, it's going behind the traffic light and the the plants that are at the foreground. Not going behind the other stuff, but it's going behind them. That's uh, that's the point, right? So now we've got to take that back to 100, and that'll be pretty cool, right? So now. We should, try it one more time just to make sure we got everything right make sure there's no bouncing right always preview it several times just to make sure you get it right and um, you can have more characters walking across if you wish and stuff like that but in, on this instance I'm just showing you a little bit of how to do it it's only took me 30 minutes and I've done pretty well with this but I mean I, I did do that overlay which uh, I can show you that on another uh, video how to do that it's not that difficult all it is is uh, deleting all the bits that you don't need from the front part basically I use a lot of cropping and different things to do it with right uh, and that's basically your story of what to do with this Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you find it really useful. And please like and subscribe to Townish Music if you did. Alright, thank you very much. Goodbye.